Hello, everybody. Today we will be reviewing how to submit an application under the Local Government Fiscal Framework LGFF Capital Program. Do keep in mind that the local governments, applications, and projects we will be using for this presentation are for illustrative purposes only and do not necessarily reflect current activities. To start, please log into MA Connect and click on Launch on the Local Government Fiscal Framework tile. You will automatically be taken to the local government you represent. Or, if you represent more than one local government, choose the appropriate local government from the drop down list on the top right corner. In this case, we will select Lacombe County. Then click on View Applications link. In your applications, we have three tabs. Drafts, submitted, and returned. You can click on submitted to see a list of your submitted applications. You can click on drafts to see a list of your saved draft applications. You can create a report of your draft or submitted applications by clicking on the draft applications report or in the case of submitted applications, on the submitted applications report. A PDF is then generated with these lists. This is handy if you need to print or send somebody a list of your applications. There is also a return tab. This is where previously submitted applications go when they require some changes once a grant advisor has, the, has discussed those changes with you. Additional functions, such as an approved applications tab and other reports, will be added to the LGFF portal as the system is developed. To start a new application, click on the New Applications link. Start by filling in the contact information. This is the name, phone number, and email address of the person that Municipal Affairs will contact in case there are any questions about the applications. Next, choose an appropriate application name. Under the LGFF application program, local governments can submit up to 20 projects within a single application, provided the list of projects fall under the same functional category or a part of a unified system. It is best to think as if the application is a shopping list, while projects are the items on the shopping list. For this example, we will fill in the application for two projects, a countywide paving initiative. Choose the applicable primary outcome. Write a detailed application description. This description provides information about the projects or project, the project's activities, and the resulting capital assets within the broader application. Click on next. On the functional categories page, Choose a primary category for all of the projects in the application. Indicate the percentage of the total cost and then click Add. Since roads are our primary purpose of our project, of the application, we will go with roads and bridges. You can see it appears over here at the bottom. 
Next, we will be doing some stormwater work under the roads. So we're adding it as 10%. You can make changes and edits by clicking on the pencil button here. If any of the listed projects are using other sources of grant funding, click and select yes to indicate the sources of other grant funding. A drop down menu will appear. In this case, we will be using the Canada Community Building Fund. Select who will own the capital asset. Local government. And next. Under projects, enter the name of the project included on this application. If there is more than one project, this should be different from the application name, as the application name is the broad name encompassing all of the projects that are listed. If you have only one project, then the project name can be the same as the application name. In the project description box, provide a brief description of the assets and or activities being funded by LGFF. If there is more than one project in the application, then the project description must be different from the application description. If there's only one project in the, app in the application, the project description can be the same as the application description. Select the primary asset being constructed or upgraded for this project. Decide what is the primary focus of the project. In this case, we will say it is the road itself, so we'll choose road and street. You will notice that the choices of primary assets are tied to the functional category you selected earlier. Had you selected airport as functional category, then you get a selection such as terminal buildings, runways, and their primary assets. Select any other additional capital assets that are being constructed or upgraded for this project. You can select more than one where appropriate. In our case, we will be doing a couple of culverts under some of the roads and stormwater lines. Now enter the project location. You will notice that you are taken to the entire, to the center of your local government's location. Select. A more detailed walkthrough of the mapping function is in a separate video. Under project type, select from new, upgrade, or both. If you select upgrade, you will need to enter both a quantity and the current condition of the asset. If you select new, only the quantity is required, as the condition does not exist, as the asset does not yet exist. In our case, we will choose both. For upgrade, it'll be the existing roads that, that are being paved. For new, are the additional lanes we're adding to the existing road, the new lanes. And the current condition of the current road is poor, hence why it's being paved and renovated. Select the, select the anticipated start date. We're in 2026 for this initiative.
estimated total project cost. The LGFF component. Other grant funding. In this case, it would be the CBIF. CCBF, sorry. <laughs> the funding for municipal sources will automatically calculate based on the amounts you have entered. Click add and repeat the process for additional projects. For this example, we will add one more project. Scroll to the top. So we be begin with entering the new project name, the additional project name. Description. And primary asset. As we will be paving the road on the bridge under additional capital assets, we'll select road and street. For mapping location. Find the bridge, we select the location. And project type. It'll be an upgrade. It's a short bridge, so only 60 meters will be paved or built. Current condition is poor. Start date again will move to 2026. Estimated project costs, the LGFF component, This particular bridge project is not making use of any other grant funding, but since other grant funding had already been selected for the broader application, you will need to put zero here under other grant funding. Add. The list of your projects included in this application will be shown at the bottom of the page, as you can see here. You can click on the pencil icon to edit the project. In this case, we realize we forgot that a stormwater line is running under the bridge, so we, we can add it now. So under additional capital assets, we will add stormwater line and save. You can also click on the garbage can icon to delete our project altogether. The final page of the application is the certification page. Select one of the two options as either CAO or representative, confirming the, all the information is current and accurate. If you are not ready to submit the applications, you can click on the Save and Close. The application will remain in the draft tab that we saw at the beginning of the presentation. There is also a link at the bottom allowing you to download the application as a PDF. If you're ready, select first as a representative. If you're ready, you can submit your application. We are now taken to the Your Applications page, and your new project is now be, is un, now under the Submitted tab. 
you click on the Chevron for this project, for this application, you can see the two projects that are within that application. Here too, you can create a PDF of the application, of the submitted application. Had you simply save the application, it would be here under drafts. Now we are familiar with how to submit an application under LGFF. If you have any questions, be sure to contact a friendly Municipal Affairs Grant Advisor. Here's the contact information on the left. Or contact Systems Support if you have any technical or login issues. Here's the contact information on the right. Thank you, and we look forward to the new LGFF program.